What is up guys? Today we're at Knott's Berry Farm. I got Michael behind the camera. Uh, we heard there's a lot of park updates, so we're gonna see what's new over here, what's not. Um, so yeah, it should be a cool vlog. Let's go right on it. Just walked into the front gates and all the Christmas decorations are gone and it looks like they're setting up for Peanuts Festival. For those of you who don't know Peanuts Festival, it's basically, what is it again, Michael? It's basically a celebration of all the Peanuts characters like Snoopy, Charlie Brown, and Woodstock, and everyone else that I didn't care to list. Yeah. Not that I don't know them. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it's just a big Charlie Brown festival for like three months. For real. Yeah. <laughs> this is my favorite scene, bro. Like, All right, so we just walked into Ghost Town. Right off the bat, we're gonna start off with uh, Ghost Rider. Get a little morning uh, roller coaster session in. Start the day off. It is actually pretty early. What time is it? It's like 10 o'clock. It's like 11:30. Yeah, it's pretty rare I come to a theme park this early. So why not start the day off with one of the best wooden roller coasters in America? <laughs> No wait time, that's what we like to see. That's why you guys come on a Monday. No, today's actually a Thursday. Oh, it's a Thursday? Yes, sir. Come on a weekday when school's back in session. You guys won't have to wait in any line. That's a win. This is probably like 10 minutes. We're on the back of Ghost Rider. He's on it too. So am I. That's better than Viper. That's the Ghost Rider. Man, that's a crazy ride. But it's a good ride. A good way to start the morning. Um, yeah, it was only like a 10, 15 minute away. So that's a W. It's probably gonna be like that the whole day. Good old Nasbury Farm, man. What can I say? Hey, Joe. Howdy, fellas. What's up, Joe? Oh, not much. Hey, how's the jail, man? How's how they treating you in there? No, hot and miserable, but you know you gotta do what you gotta do. I know, man. It's like eighty degrees out there. You want some water? Yeah, sure. If I can get some, but sheriff, you know, he says he was gonna bring me some something wet my whistle. He hasn't come by yet. Uh, sheriff Woody? No, Sheriff Wheeler. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, he promised me some pie too, but I haven't seen it. What kind of pie you want? Apple pie? No, oh, boysenberry. Boysenberry, uh, you dee-dee-dee. You don't want any dingleberry pie? No, no dingleberry. <laughs> oh, man. There's enough of that around here. <laughs> That's true. Not just full of them. Mm-hmm. Well, we're going to get going. All right, fellas. It was nice seeing you. All right, man. Hey, you take care, man. Okay, you guys. I think this ride is probably one of the most underrated rides in the park. I feel like it's because it's in Camp Snoopy, so a lot of people yeah. affiliated as a kid ride rather yeah. than being like a really good ride. But it, it, in actuality, it's actually really intense. <laughs>
that's the teacups on a track. Did that just scare for you? That was crazy. Now, for a lot of people, Knott's Berry Farm is known for their uh, world class roller coasters, but if you guys don't know, Knott's Berry Farm actually founded on a little berry called the boysenberry, and they actually still grow them here at the theme park. I don't know if they're in season right now, but right underneath the silver bullet is where you can find their boysenberry patch, and that's what really started this whole theme park. Hey, you guys, we're on the train right now. I heard there's some robbers that come on in, so we're gonna find out. So yeah, the train is just like a cool little thing you guys can hop on when there's like nothing. He does. He does. Oh, look at that. They sold each other out. He does. He does. Oh, cool. <laughs> all right, hand over all the gold nuggets. All right, I got you. Here you go. Well, I don't even know how to write. What am I going to do with that? You just don't make my lawn a coaster with that, all right? I will. That was good. We pointed at each other. <laughs> that was good. That was good. That was. He does. <laughs> I guess this is the log graveyard. I don't know what's going on here. The graveyard? Which is kind of fitting because look what's right next door. Mesmer. One of the greatest mazes of Scary Farm 2K21. I would hop off this train and go inside of there. Let's go. We were just saying how, I think not just Nosbury Farm, but every theme park should have a year round maze. Like, they leave the setup all year round, so it's like, why not just like work with it? Yeah, exactly. For those of you who don't know, they leave um, one of the mazes at Knott's Creek Farm, they, li they leave it up all year round. So if they leave it up, might as well just keep it running all year. I was saying too, like even if they like charge a small fee, like five, ten bucks to get in the maze, I would definitely pay it just to get my, your, your my, 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 my you know? scaring fixings in, you yeah. know what I'm saying? I don't Especially know. this year, or not even this year, but just in general, because Universal got rid of the maze. Yeah, Universal is like the dead. only place to do it, and they were doing a good thing with that, you know? But I don't know, it's just people are sensitive nowadays. It's like a Halloween exclusive thing. Yeah, it's, it's, like, it's like Halloween has such a huge profit for theme parks, they're just gonna keep it all just for Halloween. Yeah, but it, it's like, it's like some people just miss that. So it's like, I wanna go to the exactly. Nas or like Universal and just exactly. get like, just that little taste. Knott's Berry Farm, if you guys are watching this, make a year-round maze. I'm telling you, it'll be good for you guys. You need it. Best barbecue, at least. Um, with the meal plan, you can get these all for free. Yo, they got mad scary farm merch in here. Okay, guys, so I just found this out. If you ever come to Knott's Berry Farm, they don't take cash anymore. You yeah, gotta convert your cash into a card. They officially went cashless, which is good for us, at least. This is how you work. It's gonna just start it. Go here, put your money in. You put up to five hundred dollars, and you just get a card right here. And yeah, that's how it works. We don't got cash because you know we got debit. So yeah, it's kind of crazy, bro, that they don't take cash anymore. Is this the wave of like theme parks now? I think it's the future, dog. Is it the future? Cash will like always it. be like a staple, though. All right, guys. So we're on this uh, water ride thing. I don't know. I think we're gonna get pretty wet. I hope not. Hopefully, hopefully not too bad. But like, I'll take a little spittle. You know what I'm saying? As long as it ain't splash mountain, I'm good. Too, too. Oh! Oh my god. I already got wet. <laughs> <laughs> we already passed the dynamite kids? Uh, no, we did not. Oh, no. not the dynamite kids, I'm dead. <laughs> yeah! 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 Oh! 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 oh. <laughs> Oh, no, no. Oh, hell no. There's a dynamite kid. 
this is too much. That's what you get for Splash Mountain. This is too much. This is way too much. I want to get it off. Broken. If you guys don't know, there's actually going to be a new place to eat here soon. It's going to be like a brewery and a pizza spot. So if you like pizza and beer, summer of this year, baby. This whole area is blocked off. Okay, and honestly, it's pretty good because, you know, more theming is good for the theme park. More places to eat are good. Um, it's right underneath the theater, so it's like a good spot too. I'm going to check it out. Can I sing it for you? Yes. All right. The news media is going to capture it here. <laughs> Tell me your name. Scarlet. Scarlet, let me come a little forward so I'm not being blinded by the sun. Hey, there, there you go. go. Much, better. Much better. Scarlet, will you please tell me what your favorite thing is to eat? Uh, pizza. Pizza? pizza. You don't have to listen to your lawyer. Grapes? Okay. <laughs> Let's go with grapes. <clears throat> got a 15 minute wait. Michael's not with me. He didn't want to go on it for reasons unknown, but look at that. That's crazy. Light word. Sponsored by Dr. Pepper. I wish. Hey, if Dr. Pepper wants to sponsor me, please. I was gonna go on accelerator today, but unfortunately, it's closed. So no accelerator POV today for you guys. What are you gonna do? Michael was gonna go on it, ah, but it looks like he's uh, well, we're both not. So that's that's uh, real unfortunate. On a side note, the paint job for accelerator looks. Great. A lot of people were asking me if I like it. I indeed like it. I like how it's like multiple colors. Like you got the gray and then the yellow and then look at the transition to the orange. Like that's sick. And then the red. Yeah, and they clipped like the classic red, like when it first opened. It's great. You know my cousin how painted. All right, guys. I'm gonna try this uh, hang time game. Wish me luck. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Not bad. Is that a prize? No. That's nothing. No. Oh, <laughs> he said no. no. So we're in line for uh, this game called Loteria. It's basically just a knockdown game. You just throw some balls at the at the thing. But yeah, I'm gonna test my luck, see if I win anything, see if it's a W or a L. It's an L. Either you got bad accuracy or the game's rigged. I don't know which one it is. It's been a minute. I would go on Supreme, but it's down today, unfortunately. Should I climb it, guys? Leave it low. Leave it low in the comments if I should climb Supreme screen. But yeah, it's closed, man. That really sucks. It's definitely one of my favorite rides here in the park, but 
you know, I just gotta come back, I guess. You guys heard but Knott's Berry Farm posted on their Instagram that this ride right here was gonna close down for the whole year here we are at the end of January and it's reopened so we're gonna check it out uh, maybe talk to somebody to see why is it open but it's open Jesus, how are you feeling please do not leave on or over the clothing days So what did they say about uh, Montezuma reopening? Well, I just talked to a worker right now down there. Um, so what I heard is that it's actually postponed the maintenance and the construction work and all that because they're actually working on an accelerator, log ride, and Supreme Scream all Damn. at the same time. So they had to reopen something. So at least we got that for now. I mean, I know you wanted to do accelerator, but it is what it is. Alright guys, that's gonna do it for today. Make sure you like and subscribe if you like the vlog. Uh, pretty chill day over here at Knott's Berry Farm. But a lot of rides were closed, so I definitely gotta come back. Uh, Michael, how was that today? It's a good day, good day. Not a long day, but a good day. Not a long day, but a good day. Alright, that's gonna do it for today, guys. Uh, I'll see you guys on the next one. Alright, peace. Bye. Adios. Sayonara.